hello guys welcome to the market channel so today in this video we'll be talking about how to sell a training stop loss for a future trade so before we continue please and please if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe um, also turn on notification and smash the like button for this video thank you very much so let's go to our features page this is it um first thing first before you can set a trailing stop loss you must have a position running currently is either you have uh, a short position or you have a long position running you understand so ew2 the position mode must be opened so since currently i don't have a position opened so i will open the position first so i've load ten dollar here so that i can use for this particular so let's open this position for this particular coin let me just open the position okay so currently i have a position running here so this is it so now since i have a position running i can now go ahead and set my training stop loss and don't forget the aim of training stop loss is just to make sure you are locked out of profit in case of uh uh back turns that is maybe market is turning back and decide not to run again in profit so you'll be locked out of profit at least you get out with something so that's meaning of a training stop loss and all you need to do let me go to training stop loss page click on the market or limit you might see limit on your own click on that limit and drop down here click training stop loss don't forget since i open a long position i will need to uh, choose a sell button but if i open a short position i will choose a, what a buy button so just take note of that since i open a long position i choose a what a sell button so all i need to do yeah you see call back rate division price amount and the rest so but all you need to do here is just input the percentage of callback you want once you leave the activation price blank it will use the market price for the activation price because activation price should be either the market price or above the market price either of the two it should be an activation price once you blew the market price it won't work out so and also it depends on the percentage of your callback rate depending on your risk management so you can use two percent three percent four percent anyone depending on them depending on your uh risk management so but i'll be using two percent for this trade so when i input two percent and uh, then hundred percent of everything of my all, all my quality so okay sorry the quality i bought size is 473 so i'll change it 473 that's how quality i bought so and then sell so you see it at open order you see the open order there and you see the activation price two one two five eight so whenever it's go to two one two five eight it will activate and uh, start to move according to the uh according to the uh my uh input so if the cutty start to run in profit try running in profit 10 percent profit 20 percent profit the trading stopper will start to want to move up will continue to move up 50 percent profit will continue to move up but once cutty started coming down back the last increase of the trading stop loss by two percent that's when it's going to pause so whenever the market is turning back down it's going to lock me out of profit so but let's assume immediately i place this trade like you can see now i started running in profit it's already started running in loss the training stop loss will just stay at where i set it by two percent callback so once it gets that two percent it what it will stop me out and that will be allowed like 20 percent don't forget it's 10x so it will stop me out so that's all how to set the what a trading stop loss so thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also put your notification and smash the like button for this video so thank you very much god bless